and welcome back to Otaku No Video as always. Thank you very much for joining me. Where here today I'm going to talk about a news story that dropped this week about Studio Kara's lawsuit against Studio Gainax. Uh, you may have heard the news story. I'm here to tell you the backstory behind why it is what it is and how it all worked. Basically, so the, the, the backstory Studio Gainax, very famous anime studio going back decades. Uh, very well respected for a long time, and then, well, it's a it's a long story, which I can't get into all the details of here. Um, but much of their greatest work, uh, or most influential work, was by a guy named Hideaki Anno. And uh, Anno, back in 2007, I believe it was, uh, left Studio Gainax to form his own studio called Studio Kara. So you've got Gainax, you know, established uh, studio over there, and then Kara which was formed by a, um, uh, one of the members. And to be clear, Gainax was formed by a group of uh, one, two, three, four, five, I believe six or seven uh, college students um, sort of all co-founded this all together. Um, and, uh, that, you know, so Ano leaving that for his own thing was a pretty big deal. Um, and Anno has been working on the new Evangelion series over at Studio Kara, ever since the Evangelion movie series, right? So, okay, so you've got um, Gainax over in this corner, Kara over in this corner doing their thing. And because Kara is working on Evangelion, which was built at Gainax, or made at Gainax, uh, Kara has been working with Gainax on, you know, assets and all that kind of stuff. So they've had to work together um, on this to some extent. However, as it turns out, according to a lawsuit that Studio Kara filed back in December, um, there was this agreement between the, the two that Kara would get royalties from Gainax uh, based on works and properties that Hideaki Anno had worked on. So basically, Anno's projects at, at Gainax, now that he was not working at Gainax anymore, you know, his profits should they get funneled to Kara. Uh, according to them, um, Gainax incurred a large debt on this. Um, Gainax delayed paying these royalties for a long time. Uh, Kara then loaned 100 million yen to Gainax, that's about a million dollars, a little less, back in August 2014, and never received any of it back, which is pretty bad. Um, so Kara finally filed the lawsuit. As soon as they did, or, or very shortly thereafter, uh, Hiroyuki Yamaga, the president of Gainax, posted an apology on Gainax's website. So he said, basically, we apologize. We were, we were undergoing restructuring, which seems to be what, that's what they always say. Um, and uh, basically, he asked everyone for peace and love and understanding, but still, apparently, they haven't paid any of it. So that's a bit of a problem. So the, um, the judge in this case, uh, finally this past week, ordered Gainax to pay the 100 million yen to Studio Kara um, and actually just like, get it done. So hopefully... That will happen, and this will all be kind of taken care of, but it's it's a bit of a black eye on Gainax's part. Um, and it certainly doesn't mean, it, or it certainly suggests that Anno will not be returning back to the Gainax fold anytime soon. That's unfortunate. But uh, yeah, so hopefully that will resolve things, um, and hopefully Kara and Gainax can continue, and hopefully the final Evangelion movie can finally come out. <laughs> 